The Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is available for pre-order now, 4,099 US dollar, and it will be on shelves August 22, the same day as the Pixel 9. Google is holding the Pixel 9 Pro and Pixel 9 Fold a bit longer until September 4, so if you want a new Pixel as soon as possible, the XL is the best phone you can choose. The Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is 99% the same phone as the Google Pixel 9 Pro. If you think that makes sense, you haven't been following the world of smartphones because phone makers like Apple and Samsung always save one or two special tricks for the biggest phones they make. If you want the best cameras or all of the hidden feature, you must buy the biggest phones. Not so with the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Every feature that you will find on the Pixel 9 Pro XL is also available on the smaller Pixel 9 Pro, even the 5x zoom camera. The Pixel 9 Pro XL has two distinct hardware advantages over Pixel 9, but neither of them are completely clear and both are related to the larger size. First of all, the Pixel 9 Pro XL gets a larger 6.8-inch Super Actual Display. It's much bigger than the 6.3-inch screen on the Pixel 9 Pro and it packs more pixels, offering a higher resolution. So, is the Pixel 9 Pro XL screen better? Not exactly. Both displays can reach the same eye-burning 3000 nits peak brightness. Both displays use LTPO technology for a lower power always on display that runs at an astonishing 1 Hz. Both offer 24-bit color and the same contrast ratio and other specs. The Pixel 9 Pro XL has more pixels but with a larger screen area, the pixels get a bit more room to spread out. Because the Pixel 9 Pro packs its pixels more densely, we'd say that screen is marginally sharper with a higher pixel density. In truth, the difference is probably invincible to human eyes and both phones are more sharp than any iPhone or Galaxy phone you can buy right now. Google makes the best displays for a smartphone, whether you get the big one or the small one. And this is the entire point of the Google Pixel 9 Pro and Pixel 9 Pro XL. The only choice to make is big one or a small one. You don't have to wonder whether you really need a 5x zoom camera like the iPhone 15 Pro Max offers, instead of only 3x zoom as you get the iPhone 15 Pro. Apple is being kind to pro buyers with Samsung. If you want the best cameras, you can't just buy the larger Galaxy S24 Plus. That phone has the same cameras as the Galaxy S24. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is the real step up and it's a huge step up to 200 megapixel on the main sensor, a 5x zoom lens, larger sensors all around and more. Oh, and you buy the Galaxy Ultra phone, you have to take the S Pen. Samsung doesn't make a phone with the best cameras and no pen for those who don't want or need it. It's still early days for both of Google's new Pixel 9 Pros. Fablet fans can get their hands on the Pixel 9 Pro XL on August 2022, while anyone obsessed with smaller devices will need to wait for the Pixel 9 Pro on September 4th. Overall, I walked away from both devices feeling a renewed sense of excitement towards Pixel that I am not sure I have felt since the Pixel 6 series. But on the other hand, I wouldn't blame anyone for waiting for a more re revolutionary chipset especially considering the rumors for next year's Pixel 10. But if Google has nailed the basics here, solid performance, good battery life, and relatively cool thermals, we could be looking at the best Android experience you can buy today now available in two different sizes.